going in three minutes, 30 minutes, and then three hours. As soon as I hit play on this timer, I am immediately going to need to start drawing as I only have three minutes. Oh, I drew too small. I drew too small. Oh, shoot. I'm actually doing the wrong things. Okay, there, 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 there. Come on, come on. Kabir, be faster! This is not at all close. I have a minute left and I don't even have any colors down. Or the hair. The eyes are not in the right spots either. Okay, uh, colors, 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 colors. I can't see nothing. Ten seconds. I spent too long being a perfectionist. And look where it has brought me. Oh, I'm done. That's it. This is pretty booty. I mean, given three minutes, there wasn't a whole lot I could do, and I kept on messing up on the face. As soon as I hit this timer, I'm gonna be doing the same thing as before. Skipping the entire guidelines step to begin with, so then I can get straight to it, okay? Now I gotta immediately start drawing. Um, analysis mode. This time I'm gonna start with the nose. Cause for some reason I'm having a hard time drawing the nose. Which is just like, something I usually don't struggle with. Actually, you know what, that's actually kind of a lie. For some reason I struggle with noses a lot. I need to stop treating it like I have unlimited time, but 30 minutes feels a lot nicer than what I had previously, so... It's like a drawing people's, not people's, but eyes because I can never get the right angle. Oh, and now I'm looking to the left. I, like, I shimmy it over to the left a little bit. Oh, now it's gonna be in the middle, right? Finally. I have 20 minutes to do this. I, I feel like that's enough time. I think I may have made the lips a little too big and a little too scary. 13 minutes, and I I haven't been really paying attention. My brain was kind of just, oh, I'm just gonna treat this how it would normally, and now I'm running out of time. Yeah, the eyes are so spaced, what? Never would I think that I would ever draw off-brand Michael Jackson. But here I am. It's just bring it a bit closer. Okay. And then I bring in this tool a little bigger. Just a lot of minute, a little bit better reshape the face a little bit. Oh, two seconds. Okay, cool. That's it. Boom, it's done. Honestly, this this one sucks too. Now, on to the three hours. Ah, I finally have as much time as I need. Except, three hours is pretty long time so why not give myself a bit of an added challenge and do no undo and i might as well also get rid of the actual un undo where is undo here it is delete now i have no undo no matter how hard i try i can't undo so now i must be happy with everything i do or use the eraser tool all sense of urgency has just disappeared now i'm on to the actual sketch itself and this is where no undo could prove itself to be annoying i feel like the worst part about it for me is the sketching phase because i tend to use undo a lot to get like my really crisp line art but that's just not really like an option here it's mostly just like a race i can't imagine doing like regular like line art like if you're doing an anime style or something like that or uh, maybe like <gasps> no you know what i hate drawing ice a bunch i'm just gonna put it on another layer so that i could just do this wow now she's looking right at you it's like it's witchcraft oh she's close wait wait wait, wait. there we go i don't remember the last time i did no undo challenge because i used undo so much and i was like okay well i gotta stop it and then i love how it literally did not help and then i was drawing like on pencil and paper a lot to see if that would help that wasn't helping either it literally doesn't i literally was just i still abuse undo so much despite 
practicing against overusing it. Like if I have the ability to use it, I just go crazy. This hair is gonna bother me. It's already bothering me to draw. Now I can start onto the background. And before I was having the background and the foreground on the same because it doesn't matter. But I kind of forgot about it anyways. Now, time to do the exact same thing I did last time. Except for the fact that it'll probably go faster because I've already done this. It's almost 30 minutes. I just said the first 30 minutes. In the same time that it took me to go through the other one. Which was, I can consider that one a finished piece. Is the same amount of time I spent on this one sketch. You cannot be serious. The other one is, is just gonna get smoked by this one. I, I can already see. The sketch looks 10 times better. Like the other one I was scared of. I literally looked at that one and I was shaking in my boots. I didn't wanna draw no more. I think it was scary. I was traumatized. But this on the other hand, this one's about to hit mega different i get to take my time and i don't really undo when rendering because you just go over the same pot spot again this ain't no liner you know i feel like this is a little too easy maybe i gotta throw some like other challenge in here all one layer challenge you know what the funny thing is all one layer challenge the only the only challenge it comes up with is the fact that boom my liner has now vanished it might be an unga bunga Ooga booga, undo fiend when it comes to the line art, but like, what's the undo button when it comes to rendering? Never heard of it. It's kind of funny how, how I was like talking about earlier, how, how long it's taking me, but like since I started rendering, it's been six minutes, I think. I think it's been six minutes and I've already done this much. Am I just going insane? Are YouTubers just insane people? You talk to the camera and get paid to be insane. Also, I think in like the art community, people are pretty scared of criticism. And like, I agree with the, I agree with the sentiment that you shouldn't critique other people when they don't ask, when they don't ask for it. Cause like, who knows, this could be a drawing, like they just want to have fun on it. And they don't need to, they don't need to have it critiqued, but it's also a thing of, I, like I've seen a lot of, like I see a lot of artists who, who literally don't ask for, for their artwork to be critiqued at all. And then they complain that they, that they're not getting any better. Like, I understand, like, a lot of people do art for fun, but then there's a lot of people who also want to improve and have fun with their art, and all the time I spent isn't going anywhere, and maybe they have, like, other artist friends, and they're just, like, they're not improving at the same rate, and then, I'm, like, you're, you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel sad from that, like, and also not, like, oh, I have a problem with drawing something, so I'm just not gonna draw it, which is something I see a whole lot, like, with hands and stuff. Like, I get why people don't like drawing hands, it's the same reason why I don't like drawing backgrounds, it's just not really something that's really fun to draw, it's kind of hard and whatnot, but then people will hide it. I don't think you should really be hiding the hands. And a lot of artists will be like, oh, well, I don't know where to start. And guess what they're doing? They're freaking no reference, raw dog in the, the drawings. I'm wondering why they suck so much in hands. It's like, well, you're not even like, you, you don't even know what a hand looks like. This hair, it, it, I'm getting flashbacks. Why am I getting video again? So much where I was complaining about the hair the entire time because it, it's, it's the same situation. Like, legitimately, this makes me hair, hate drawing hair. Is constantly overlapping hair. So I don't know what I don't know what part to do first. I'm just I'm lost. I'm lost in the sea of hair, and I don't want to be like oh, I'm I'm just gonna do my own thing because doing my own thing isn't gonna make it like it might turn out better because oh well that that's just the way I know how to draw hair better. I wouldn't be improving because I just I would just be literally ignoring and be like well I can't, well I don't know how to do it so I'm just not gonna draw it. Drawing hair usually is a pretty relaxing experience. I kind of just like freaking put whatever colors down and, and and have fun with it. This is like pure torture. This could be one of my best drawings if I knew how to do this hair type, which is curly. Of curly hair is the fact for that the it's entire overlapping and the there's like the basis of what one color is is not fragile. Every, every single strand it's like it's not it's a different color. So it's color. It's, 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 it's this the, color. The shadows. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the exact same exact for everywhere. It's like, I've and so like with straight hair, that's what like really starts putting on top. Is that it's the, you're making the strands, strands, you're doing the highlights things. for every single part. It's not one singular part. Did I just finish in um, 
half that time that I set. Like, what else am I gonna do? It's an hour 40. Oh my, that blows my mind. Just last month, my drawings, my each one, every single one of them are four hours. And then in the past month, it's gone down from four hours to three hours, two and a half hours to two hours. It's just getting shorter and shorter. So just comparing from the beginning. The eyes are all right. The nose is, is a little weird, but for three hours, you know what? This is pretty good. I, I got a few colors down in three minutes. And then we got Michael Jackson. Hey, hey. I'll say that the rendering on the face is pretty good for 30 minutes. But then this one, this is what an hour and a half gives you. And then that is it for this video. You might as well also watch another one right here. Since you made it all the way through, you might as well watch another one right here since you already made it all the way through this one.